This is Becky here. I'm going to show you today how to make a centre tape shoe. First of all, you need is a shoe. Cling film to cover your shoe and the centre tape to make a frame of your shoe. First of all, we should put the cling film on. Today I'm using a shoe with a high heel. What I personally do is add some cling film directly to the heel first and then cover the rest with cling film so then you don't have to worry about the arch. I have done doing this film in stages, I've already prepared a couple of other shoes for you to see that you can use different styles of shoes. The love of cling film sticking to itself. Make sure when you when you do come on the shoe itself, fold over because we want to protect the whole of the shoe. Sure, the shoe is nice and covered with a cling film. Mm. As you can see, I've covered the whole shoe with cling film. Move it down as much as you can so it's as close as to the shoe as possible to give you your shape. Right, next, sellotape. We'll start with the heel as this can be tricky. To do is add the sellotape to the end and then a spiral. And I'm not stuck to other bits. Don't worry that you're stuck there. You can layer it as however you like. You can use thin bits of tape, you can use long bits of tape, whichever you personally find easier. I do suggest though you do several layers to give yourself a sturdy base for when you take the shoe off, which I will show you in the next step. And as you can see, what I mean by the the heel being a little bit difficult to get round. As you can see, I'm here. As I said, don't worry where the tape goes to a degree. If you find it trails off somewhere, you let it go that way. You need the extra layers. What I also do when I start is put a layer along the edge of the shoe here 
So then you have your edge. Some shoes are a lot easier than others, trust me. This, even though the heel can be awkward, is probably one of the easier shoes to do. Hopefully I haven't gone off to scream too much when I'm doing this. Right. I will fast forward on to the next stage. Remember to cover the whole of your shoe several times. Right. Here's a shoe I've done earlier. As you can see, fully sellotaped up. Already covered with a cling film. Now this might look scary, but you need to cut in, in three places, especially when the shoes are high. You do make sure your shoes out the way when you cut. You do one round here. Don't worry about all your hard work that you've done. You simply tape it back up after. So you see there. Do the same there. And then you do one round here. So it can be a little tricky, it depends on how soft your shoes are. And you'll find if you can only do a little snip, it will give a little bit afterwards for snipping. Or not in this case. <laughs> This is where you're peeling a bit, but this is where the bend in your shoe comes in handy. It can be a little bit tight to get off sometimes, depending on how tight you've done your, your shoe. So you might find you need to snip the back a lot longer than you think. There you go. As if she wants to come inside out. Don't worry, I know it looks very scary in a minute what I've done, but it will take its shape back. I have to say, painted shoes may not be the best best material. <laughs> As you can see, your shoe is still in one piece. All healthy. And now, I'll bring your sellotape shoe back into shape. As you can see, it's got its shape back already. You then sellotape where you've cut. Just 
excuse my fingers for a minute. And now, of course, you can sellotape all the way down without worrying. I recommend with this being a fatter heel that you you either you find some paper, old paper, or something to stuff the shoe with. But this is basically the basis of your sewing tape shoe. Any excess where you've gone over, you can always trim. As you can see, I went a bit OTT with the cling film on this one. So I'm just taking the excess away now. You can even use the excess if you have, like me, use her quite a bit to start stuffing your heel with. This is to give it more sh strength and form. But yes, stuff your heel. And as you can see, you have a sewing tape shoe. I recommend using paper mache. I just use normal PVA glue and then either whipped up newspaper or plain paper, depending on what I have at the time spare. I'm covering, covering it all over. You can, of course, just paint it. This one's just been painted, but as you can see, you can see where some of the cell tape's not not stuck fully. So I am personally going to be covering this one up with paper. Um, as you can see, this was a trainer. I do have to say, to get the tongue done with this trainer is quite hard. So I don't rec recommend it for a first go, but if you fancy that challenge... We can't wait to see your results. And then you are left to decorate it. As you can see, this is one I did earlier and I have decorated did it. What I used was crepe paper and covered the whole of the shoe so I had this textured effect. Then I added a ribbon around the edge I painted the bottom of the shoe black and I added a paper insole but you can buy twin packs this one I got from Boyd's in your size shoe I got a twin pack for a pound now you think ladies if you're only doing the one shoe or only prefer one side of the shoe it doesn't matter which way it goes you can use this as a template or you can use it as the actual insole for your shoe and decorate. Almost good enough to wear. But I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think, however much sellotape has been used, I do not think they will be safe enough to wear. If there are any questions, please let me know and I will answer them the best I can. I hope this 
video has been helpful to you and can't wait to see your creations. Bye!